Field research is always a challenge, particularly when you're working with wild animals. There is a lot that you can't control about field work. But when it all comes together and you're catching the sharks that you want to be tagging and the fish that you want to be tagging, that's really where the magic happens. My name is Grace Castleberry. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Massachusetts Amherst and a NOAA Dr. Nancy Foster Scholar. The NOAA Dr. Nancy Foster Scholarship is part of the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries and it supports graduate students that are doing research directly connected to research needs in the sanctuary. For me personally, I would probably not be getting a PhD degree without this scholarship. My research is in Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary where I study interactions between great hammerhead sharks and Atlantic tarpon with a particular focus on hammerheads eating or depredating Atlantic tarpon that have been caught in the recreational fishery before they've been landed. What I want to do is find solutions, understand what different environmental factors, like the direction that the current is flowing in or the time of day, how does that influence these interactions between sharks and recreational anglers? And then also testing out some new technologies to be able to understand if there are some technological solutions that we can use to reduce how often these interactions are happening People fish recreationally for fun, but also for food, and that's very important. But sharks gotta eat too, right? So we wanna make sure that we can find a way for both of us to use the ocean together sustainably. We fish for the great hammerhead sharks in Bahia Honda in a bit of a non-traditional way. We actually hand line for them. Once that shark takes the bait, I can feel the line just start ripping through my hands. And then I let that shark take the 50 yards of rope that I have off of the back of the boat and it's attached to a big float. And once we get it close enough to the boat, uh, we will put a tail rope on its tail. So basically we, we reach over and lasso its tail. We tie that to the boat. And then we also do the same thing at the head. So the whole reason that we're tying the shark to the side of the boat is because we want to keep the shark safe. We also want to keep us safe, which also means we don't want it to thrash around. Once the shark is secured, we start our tagging process. I'll put the acoustic tag at the base of the dorsal fin. And then I put the satellite tag a little bit higher up on that dorsal fin. We'll measure the shark, we'll determine if it's male or female, and then we take the hook out, we untie the ropes, and we let her go. And we get to see all the cool data that she gets to collect for me as she swims throughout the Keys. I grew up always loving the ocean. I fished with my grandpa and my mom in, on summer vacations in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, but I never really thought that that was a job that I could do until I was in college at the University of Connecticut. My hope is that as I finish my PhD and hopefully one day have my own lab, that I can provide experiences of collaboration between women in shark science and just continue to foster a sense of inclusion and provide opportunities for those that may be less represented or less heard from in marine science, in fisheries biology, and in particular in shark science.